You don't got no sauce, then you, 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 you're lost. Mm -hmm. But you can also get lost in the sauce. What's going on everybody? Welcome back for another episode. Today, we're gonna to be installing a brake booster delete kit on Josh's hatch. Uh, we really didn't wanna do this and we didn't intend on doing it before, but looks like Josh uh, went ahead and picked up a bigger turbo. Yeah, we actually going with the GT3576 R that we went and picked up. Uh, and yeah, it's pretty big. It's more bigger than the one that we were put on just to red drive it around. And we actually went and bought the brake booster delete kit. We got the plate and then we got the uh, reservoir. Reservoir, And we actually got the tile uh, wastegate. And we got this downpipe too. Uh, we went to that place, Cars. It's like Car a local, like Car Z, local import shop. And they had this piping and we picked up a V-band. Uh, Rick has a badass welder, Argon yeah. welder. So uh, we're gonna go down to him in a little bit and have him weld it up for us. So let's go ahead and uh, get this thing started, man. First things first, we gotta go ahead and remove the uh, pin that holds the pedal uh, to the actual lever itself. Um, it's really easy. Just make sure you grab a pair of needle nose pliers. You can just pull it out, push out the pin, and you're good. So I'll go ahead and show you guys. So you'll see there is no head on there or bolt. On the other side of it, there's just a pin. Just slide it out, and the whole thing will just push out, and you'll be disconnected. Uh, Josh is going to go ahead and remove the hose for the brake booster. Uh, then after that, we're going to go ahead and remove the lines that go directly uh, to the reservoir itself. Make sure to put a little rag under here first, uh, or whatever, because it is going to leak a little bit yeah, right out of the line. You don't want to get that uh, brake fluid on your paint because it is pretty, pretty bad for the yeah, paint. Yeah, it'll, it'll leak right through it. Yeah, and it will not get paint on it again. So now that those are loose, I'm just going to unbolt these two here, which is just a 12 millimeter, and this whole thing will just fly all the way out. Um, that way we can uh, drain the reservoir on the side instead of making a biblical mess here. So we already got the bolts from the inside out. Uh, they're 12 millimeters. They were pretty hard to get them out. But now we're gonna go ahead and pull this uh, booster out. So Rick is ready for us. We're gonna head over there and get this down pop all welded in. What up? Welded. What's going on, man? What's up, dude? Get it welded for us? Sure, we're gonna weld it real quick. Shout out to Rick. Thank you again, like always. Now Josh is just going ahead and bolting the cylinder uh, to the actual plate itself. Go ahead and slide it in. Uh, it's way easier if you have somebody on the inside uh, holding on to this part and then they can just line it up, throw it through. Uh, sometimes you're gonna have to move this or you definitely will have to adjust this uh, accordingly. So once you get in there, you can go ahead and set it. It's also definitely a lot easier uh, to have two people with this. You can just hold it. I'm sure you saw me when I was taking the one out of my CRX, um, but just hold it here and then have somebody on the other side bolting her down. All right, she is in. 
Uh, last thing we need uh, is the splitter. Uh, these uh, brake booster delete kits, uh, they come basically if you're just trying to run the brakes for the front, just put this one here uh, and put it in it and send it. Uh, but if you're trying to run all four, uh, you do have to get a divider. Uh, when you do go ahead and buy one, make sure it does have a metering device on the inside. It has a smaller hole there uh, through it because if you use one just like this, uh, you'll find out that it's just going to leak out uh, from the side and not have very much pressure. Um, so make sure you do buy one of these uh, when you get it. None of the kits come with it. My CRX kit didn't come with it either. Uh, so we just need to get one, pick one up locally at a pipe store and it'll be fine. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and call it a night. Uh, Josh is going to go to that place, uh, the pipe fitting store, and pick it up and we'll be back in here tomorrow. Sugar lost in the sauce. Take those salt, cause our whole team lost. We Gucci man, and still got the sauce. In the sauce, in the sauce, in the sauce. I'm Gucci man. Alright, so it is day number two, and uh, Josh went to the junkyard. And you want to show him what you found? I found this small line that luckily I found it on the uh, Toyota. So actually, the Toyota and the Hondas are like the same threads for the brake, brake lines. And I also find this little guy that no, nowhere here uh, in the area they'd have it so I went to the junkyard real quick and pulled it out of a Toyota Tundra and it fits luckily it fits um, so now we're gonna go ahead and I was planning to put it down here I don't know if you can guys see it but I'm gonna put it right there so the line will be facing down because our clearance between the up pipe and the brake booster is like really close and uh, it won't fit so i have to bend this line a little bit until it fits So it looks like we are complete. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and call the video there. Uh, Josh is actually gonna go to the track uh, tomorrow. Uh, me and my wife are gonna be going out to the mountains. Uh, so Josh is gonna be uh, be your guys' man on the camera. Uh, but we're gonna go ahead and call the video there, guys. So go ahead and subscribe. And see you guys next time. Peace. You got no sauce, then you, 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 you lost. Mm -hmm. But you can also get lost in the sauce.